Now, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to a React and Yoshi and Noko. Um, tonight, episode three of season two. Um, not too much to say. Boom. This is episode two. I just did a little analysis for the OP and the ED. That's going to be a separate little video. I'm sure it's already up. Go check the Yoshi Noko playlist in the description if you are interested in that. Um, otherwise, though, pretty much what's going on, uh, we're doing the rip, the rewrite. Script writer is basically on his like El Bozo arc where he's just getting hoed and it's actually pretty depressing. Uh, and otherwise, you know, all the actors are just kind of waiting around being like, all right, when are we going to like get back to doing our job? Um, but yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and I'm ready to just jump straight in episode three. I ain't got much to say. No, no, no need to jerk your train, train, jerk your chain around. All right. Episode three, let's get this going. Um, should be very, very exciting. Episode two, I'm going to be honest. Episode one, I really, really liked episode two. I was like, eh. The energy, I, I was losing it a little bit. I was losing it a little bit. Really hoping episode three can come in strong here. Um, because I know Oshin this is the thing. Oshinoko can cook. We know this as fact. It, it can hit me with some of the strongest emotional beats I've ever experienced. So bring them on. Three, two, one, bang. Get my notes up. Get my notes up. You know what I'm saying? Whew. Okay. Memcho, you are way too excited. Just kidding. I like the energy, Mem Show. Keep it up. Keep it up. Ruby do be leading. Or, um, I keep do. Why do I keep calling Aqua Ruby? This is like the 50th time. Aqua really do be leading Ruby around. The clapper. I, what is going on with the clapper, man? I really am curious if we're going to play it all into, like, the reincarnation stuff, bro. <laughs> That's them repeating the word you. Oh my goodness, they're talking about, and it's I. That's so sad. Wow, you know the crazy, bro, this show really is so good. Just, just the thought of like how Aqua and Ruby are both dealing with like such a horrible loss in their lives with like in such different ways. I mean, this OP really pictures that. And I know that's so obvious of like what the, the main message of the show is, but it's so fascinating. It's such a fascinating phenomenon. Mm. Right. Oh my goodness, you're in the show. I am so happy. Good job, Rue. She made it in the show! Yay! Pinup girl in demand extras. Mm. That's fair. <laughs> Frill crazy like that. Ooh. No, she's already feeling distanced again. She's like, come back! <laughs> there we go. Good, yeah. That's a good reason to want to work more. I like it. No, we've already worked with him. Uh, true. And that's a brutal. Oh, there she is. Oh, that's kind of perfect so that y'all can actually do some things. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot they were going to this. Yeah, they're gonna... The magic of theater. Smash Heaven is a ping pong? A ping pong play? My goodness. A little date. It's a little date. Holy crap, this is an elaborate building. 
Whoa! It's like he's actually there. They're playing ping pong in space! Black hole ping pong! Sorry. Wait, it's actually hidden for him. Wait, he loves it. A fizzy explosion. <laughs> now he's just gonna like info dump about how smart it was. That's what was happening? That's actually crazy. <gasps> oh, so they can just shift between different ones. That's crazy. Wow. That venue is actually insane. Yeah. He's blushing a little bit. Aww. You know what? Look at her little face, bro. She's, she's so... She's so adorable, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that'll be helpful for, for, for him as an actor as well. Oh, it's that guy. He's like, hey, my, my people. My squad. Yeah. Oh, bro's a busy guy. <laughs> do it again is crazy. That's a crazy thing to ask. <laughs> it being a date, Loki. Yeah. Yeah, homegirl is uh, on a warpath. She can't pull it off. Ooh, Aqua's cooking. Aqua's cooking. おそらく原作者は舞台も装置のことも何も知らない。高校の体育館でやることを想定した。ダム。ダム。今日の舞台は脚本と装置がこうレベルに噛み合ったプロ。あ、これ、レッツゲットユーオンザスクワード。あ、
Exactly. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you, Aqua, for just stealing my. Okay. Hey, sp hey, spit your truth, Aqua. Do your thing. Oh, look at the look at his star eye. It's so glowing. Oh. Okay. Dang, I love how they change their clothes. They're always in such cute outfits. I love Melt. <laughs> she looks like a- she still looks like a pepper shaker, bro. Yeah, and that looks like how one of those looks. Sometimes, sometimes they have people that do. Oh, poor. Yeah. That's yeah, depressing. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> She's the only one drinking, like, beer. She was trying to get lit, bro. She's trying to get lit with the squad, bro. I love fish. Let's booze ASAP. うん、周りは太鼓持ちばかりになって助言を聞こうともしなくなる。うん、周りは太鼓持ちばかりになって助言を聞こうともしなくなる。うん、周りは太鼓持ちばかりになって助言を聞こうともしなくなる。うん、周
忙しさを言い訳にして破綻した振る舞いをしがちになる<笑>どうしたアリナ身に覚えがありすぎて死にたくなった<笑> She feels too soon Yeah <laughs> And then it all comes crashing down Ooh, this music. Why is this music good? Really good strings? <gasps> Ow, that's a low blow, man. Wow. Wait, she's kind of a grind setter. But I kind of like the energy. I, it's, it's a balancing act. I like the energy, though. She's like, damn, I suck. <laughs> yeah, that would that would really hurt. Aww. That's sweet. とても良く分かるから。私は人の仕事にケチつけるの得意じゃなくて、メディアミックスは割と全部お任せしちゃう主義の人だけど、本心はアビコ先生と同じ。できることならアイを持ってくれてほしい。キャラは自分のことみたい
えり好みしすぎなだけじゃないのアシスタントは育てるものでしょそんな余裕はないですって横にあるかなと思って育てようとしたらちょっと厳しく言ったのよ嬉しい絶対ちょっとじゃないでしょ作品にこだわり強いのもわかるけどこんな生活はダメよ多少妥協しても Dude, her hands like she... okay. She's wearing the glove and the glove is starting to get all kind of worked on Yeah, yeah, okay. I was about to say she's acting real mature. She's actually cooking. Damn, she's attacking. Yeah? Oh my goodness, they're tearing into each other's work. Yeah. Oh, bro. I was so proud of her. I was like, you're really being mature. You're really taking all these digs. You're feeling good, but you know what? This is fair, too. I'm gonna go for it. Speak your truth, bro. Ooh, oh, oh, ow, sore spot. Sore, sore spot. みんなそれぞれ必死に仕事してんだ。そりゃ全部が大成功すれば理想でしょうけどね。天才だの奇才だの持ち上げられて忘れちゃったかもしれないけどね。あなたも私も三本書けば二本はつまんない漫画あげる
No. It deserves better. I mean, true. Oh, she bookmarked it so much, dude. She loved the manga. It was a work of passion. That's really sweet. Dang. Bro, that poor girl is so... No wonder she blew up on all of them and fired the script, dude, too. Watch the one clip where it was good. Wait, yes. She's watching... She's re-watching the one good part. That's so good. Oh, maybe she finally finished it. Maybe she actually watched the last of it there. There, that was. Yes. Oh, uh, that was the move, Aqua. That's what I said. The move was. See, Aqua's a genius. You gotta understand how a play works. Is this the ED coming? Oh, that means the ED episode's over. Good move, Aqua. I'm so glad. That's literally what I was saying you needed to do. So good move. Good move. Good move. Okay, I'm starting to understand her better. I'm starting to understand her better. Um, Samajima. I I don't have her first name. I'm gonna call keep calling her Samajima. Poor girl is horribly overworked. Um, and I was saying that about weekly releases because there's no dude, a bunch of like you see it all the time. Like I don't know, great example, freaking uh Togashi, right? The Hunter Hunter mangaka. Bro, like, screwed up his back really bad. A bunch of health issues. Had to drop the manga for a long time. For, drop Hunter Hunter for a long time, right? Same thing with, like, all sorts of, all sorts of, you know, um, manga artists. I mean, it's a, such a brutal profession. And so for her to be soloing it as somebody that struggles with, like, communication with other people. Oh my goodness. You would, you would destroy yourself. That's, you are... You are, like, actually working yourself into an early grave. You are so... It's so bad. So, like, for her to blow up on everybody and, like, fire people, it's like, yeah, I, I would too if I was working that hard. I would lose myself, bro. But, yeah. I mean, uh, freaking uh, Yoriko was spitting bars, though, about, like, it's about coming halfway, you know? That's just communication 101, basically. So, like, all of that you just gotta respect. And I, I, I'm glad that, like, I feel like they're saying the right things to her. Um, and then Aqua giving the, the ticket was a really good idea. That was a really good idea. Especially with it being the script writer that she was trying to fire. So she, she's going to be able to see how good his work can be. And then maybe that'll help her open up the trust to actually, like, you know, keep working. Or, like, to, to like, let him keep working, right? Um, poor... R I was so excited for Ruby to be in the show again. I was so excited. And then she was just like, can we have more work, please? She gets told no, and then it's another scene. <laughs> oh, Ruby. She's comparing herself to like the other people, bro. Dang, we are freaking cooked on this calendar. Yeah, and then we freaking just end. We freaking, the scene it just is over because she doesn't get to do anything. I'm so, I'm really, I, one day, Ruby. Why is Iconic, bro? I love all their different outfits, man. Even, even Aqua got some drip in this. I'm not gonna lie. He kind of pulls off this suit. This dude and her. She was so excited and sweet here. She was so excited and sweet. I do love her character. I also love this guy too. What's his freaking name? I think they, they say right here, Ryda. I really like, I've liked Ryda quite a bit too. He's got good energy, good personality. Um, yeah. Oh, and then I love this. See, this is also good. It's good. There's so many things going on whenever Aqua's in any situation. You know what I mean? We're like here where he's like this shot specifically where his eye is glimmering so much. It It's that love. It's that love deep inside him for like creativity and for like creative projects you know where he's like he's so inspired by this show he's like man they really did a good job or with the play he watched right the ping pong one he's like man they did such a good job blah 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 list like a hundred reasons why and then you can see that sparkle in his eye and it's that's 
like literally sparkle in his eye and he's like yeah i'm gonna like let's see if we can make this happen for our play too right he's gonna give things a little nudge and he does the perfect move to like make that happen because he's brilliant because he's my goat you know that is so good because it's it's steering him towards the good ending because the good ending is where he gets to pursue the things that he loves that are brilliant um which is i think what i would want for him you know what, what what i would really want for him and so and what i think he really wants to deep down right um you know part of him does really love that and so whenever i'm seeing things like this it's just like yes yes keep fostering this spark keep keep having this happen because if we can get enough of these then it can give him another direction to go in his life you know so i love i really love that Melt. Freaking Melt. I don't know why, but Melt has really grown on me just for being kind of like a Dumbo. You know what I mean? He's just kind of like kicked around a little bit. It doesn't really get to like, you know what I mean? He's just like, I'm just trying to be a better. Like, I freaking suck, dude. I'm just trying to be better. It's like, Melt, that is the realest thing you could say, brother. I Like, you gotta respect it. And then he shows up. He's already sweating at the door because he, he knows she's going to be like, bruh. And then she was like, bruh. But yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> like, bro, it just gets absolutely gazombled on. Dang, this really is, like, exactly what a lot of drawing programs look like. That's kind of fun to, kind of fun to see, bro. Dang, she even, she even got her layers, so she's sketching on a different layer than the white background. That's smart, bro. Well, she knows what she's doing, obviously. It's just, I don't know, it's just this... I, I love seeing this. I love seeing this, because it's just, it's the same feeling I got when in Season 1 they showed off an editing program, and I was like, Oh, this is DaVinci Resolve! Yeah, I think that happened, right? Wasn't it literally DaVinci Resolve? Or, like, it looked very similar to, like, the editing program I use. And so it's just a moment of, like, oh, my goodness. Right? Like, we're actually seeing, like, I engage with these tools on a regular basis. So to see them represented in the show is just always so fun. Right? Um, <laughs> How old are you guys again? Freaking everybody is um, <laughs> underage. Don't worry for me. This isn't drunk. Oh, she drink. Oh, she a drinker, drinker. What, what? She had one beer. She's having one like pale ale or something, bro. That's not gonna. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Kana, bro. Kana has no idea what it means to be a drunk person because girl is having one one drink, bro. She's on her first beer. And maybe she's on her second at this point. But like, you know what I mean? That's really funny. Or maybe I'm just freaking lost. You know? Who knows? But yeah, they did a really good job of making um, Shimajima, Samejima, sorry. Um, oh wait, there was her name, Abiko. I'm gonna call her Abiko, that's so much better. They made a really good, they did a good job of making Abiko a lot more um, sympathetic this episode. Um, last episode, she definitely came across strong. And uh, so it's, you know, it's like, what, you know, not, not, not like an, a massive ton to, to work with there. Um, and a lot of it seemed to just be like, kind of like you could pin it on her poor communication ability um which is you know like you know it's like oh she's not very good at communicating and so she's like kind of pushing people away that's like not it's not great it's not that's not a huge sympathetic boon for me right that it's because that's pretty much just saying skill issue you know so to see that she's like being horribly overworked by her but it's i don't know it's kind of a thing where it's kind of by her own folly too where she's, she fired all her assistants, right? Um, and so there's no way that she's going to ever survive at this pace, right? Like, she can't, like, it's her own fault. It's her own fault in a way that she's overworked. Though she's also overworked, it's, it's a mix, right? She's overworked because it's a weekly manga. I would maybe say that, like, the majority of weekly releasing mangakas are overworked. Um, if not all of them, I don't know how you, like, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to speak for, a, you know, a bunch of people, but it definitely is like every time they take a week off, I'm always, there's a part of me that's like, oh man, no, nothing this week. I'm pissed. But then there's also a part of me that's like, you know what? It's probably okay. <laughs> you really can't blame them for that. Right. Um, you know, they're, they're keep pumping out like fresh, fresh story, beautiful art every week. Like my goodness gravy, bro. I mean, what are the, what are the weekly ones? 
One Punch Man was doing, were they doing weekly or every other week? I feel like they were doing weekly for a little bit. One Punch Man manga is just, was just insane for a little bit. Uh, the literal amount of content produced and the quality of like, like the current arc's been like good or whatever. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna, not gonna spoil, but like the kind of big, big stuff that was going on for a little bit there. It was like really long, lengthy chapters, absolutely beautiful art, like continuously. And so for them to have, and they kind of slowed down afterwards. I say they, because it's um two people working on it. Marotta, Maruta, Marotta. I don't know how to pronounce the name in one. If I believe, if I remember correctly, either way though, um, for them to slow down afterwards, it's like, you can't blame them, bro. Cause that pace is not sustainable. And so what we're seeing, and like also, um, that my hero, I usually, I'm, I'm currently caught up on and then King and Omega. Those are kind of my three right now. Um, so just, I've, I feel like I've, I've seen just from the audience's perspective of these different like mangas, I've seen the, like, whenever they take a break or whatever, it's like, you can't blame them. And I've seen like the community's response to those things. And it's usually pretty positive of people being like, yeah, they're, you know, it's overworked. So to see it from the artist's lens, right. Seeing how they're not sleeping two hours. Well, at least for Abiko here, right. Not sleeping two hours of sleep, fired all her assistants. You're actually going to die. You're literally going to die doing this. Um, and it's sad because I, it's sympathetic. They did it. They did a good job making it sympathetic because it's, based out of her um love it's based out of her love for the for the the works right same thing with sweet today she saw sweet today get destroyed and she loved that so much um and so to think about that happening to her own work her own baby which obviously she loves and she pours her heart and soul into would be like it'd be like sending your baby into a blender and watching it turn on very slowly as the blades just keep turning on, you know, just like that. Right. W metaphor. Um, so yeah, I like, I, I can, I can understand that. And even with the art, you know, the assistants, it's like, yeah, she's going to love her work and want it to be as good as it can be. The problem is if you shoulder all the bird, it's just, there's two mentalities you can have. You can have the, Oh, but it's not healthy. Abiko, it's not healthy. That's a fine mentality. I don't, you know, go for it. That's totally fine. But my, my better, my mentality that I actually prefer to the health, like the, or argument, let's say the, it's not healthy argument. I don't even like that argument because Abiko does not give a shit. You know what I mean? She knows that she, she knows that she's not getting enough sleep. She knows that she feels like she, she even says, I feel like I'm dying or I feel like dying. Something like that. Um, she knows how unhealthy it is and how horribly um, well, I already feel like dying. There it is. She knows how horrible she feels. She knows that she's surrounded by trash. She knows that she is horribly, like, exhausted. And she's still working on this. So saying, oh, it's not healthy. Yeah, no dip. The, I, what, the argument I prefer is it's straight up not effective. All right? When it comes to producing your piece of art to the caliber that you want it produced, it is straight up better for the piece of art, if you are healthy enough to produce at high, uh, you know, high efficiency, you know what I mean? If you work yourself into a grave, you will not produce at the quality that you wish to produce because you will be destroying yourself too hard, right? I can understand like, and, and healthy, it's not even healthy really, but just not that level of destruction. Cause I actually am of the, the mind that really extremely amazing things and i say things it's vague but you can for example say like a work of art like a really good book or like a really good manga or whatever i think at the peak much more often than not the creator has a very unhealthy work-life balance but that is just what is necessary right like like ne not always necessary is a big word but i really i really can't blame it's like i'm not gonna be oh two hours of you know let me make myself a beautiful breakfast, go to the gym, do a, an hour of journaling, an hour of, you know, working out again, and then a cold plunge, and then eating a healthy breakfast, and then, you know, blah, 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 you know, walking out and getting enough sun, blah, blah, blah. If you're making something really, really brilliant and really, really good uh, for, like, a decent amount of time, I don't think it's sustainable to also upkeep yourself that well. However, if you don't upkeep yourself well enough, then I got really bad news for you. You won't be able to create. So when you're, it's, it's, it's an effect. It just make a, when it, make a argument of it is straight up better for your product. 
if you do this. That's the key. Same thing with the assistance. It is you can spend more time on what matters to you, right? That's really good. I don't, how much do you, should you really care about the backgrounds? You know, you're being overly obsessive about things that you don't, that don't actually matter that much, right? That's the assistant's job is to deal with that, you know? And then, I mean, shoot. And that's what Aqua does. That's why Aqua is a freaking genius, right? Also, that seems really important. I want to talk about that. But Aqua giving her the ticket is, pr it's giving her a way to realize, um, the best way to produce her media, you know? Where she's going to go to this show and she's going to realize, holy crap, I don't know how all this stage stuff really works. And it's brilliant. And she will then realize that the whatever the, the name of the guy that the freaking that was working, the script writer, dude, the script writer, dude, she's going to realize, oh, well, that's the script writer wrote this. And he so he's got to have a, at least a pretty decent feel of how how the this will work on this kind of stage. And then she'll understand that it's literally dude. It reminds me, shout out Mr. Beast. It reminds me of what Mr. Beast said once, right? <laughs> Everyone's like, okay, bro, don't talk about Mr. Beast. No, trust. It, he, there was like some YouTube short, but it really stuck with me as like, oh, that's actually pretty smart. Where it was like, when you, I don't, he said it better than I'm going to say because obviously, right? I'm trying to quote something I don't remember that well. But it was basically the idea of somebody, getting somebody else to work on your work you know, to like take on a job that you've previously had. Like, let's say like a YouTube video, you know, that's just an easy example. Thumbnail editing camera, right? If you can find somebody that you don't want to find people to replace you, right? You, it's like, I'm an editor. I'm the cameraman. When you're, when you're solo doing a project, it's like, you're making the thumbnails, you're making the editing, you're making everything, right? You don't want to find somebody that's as good as you. You want to find somebody that's straight up better than you, right? Because there's going to be someone that's better than you at each specific part of the formula. You know, so if you can find those types of people, then not only do you have less burden off your back, but also they're going to improve you in that regard. So if we can have freaking Abiko get a little bit of that energy with this, with the adaptation, with how to utilize the stage with all these different things, then I, and she's going to understand that here because Aqua understood that and Aqua is a freaking genius. So she'll understand it too, because she seems to be kind of a genius in her own way, then I think she'll be able to understand the expertise, right? And then she'll be able to respect it in the way that she respects um, Yoriko, Sweet Today. And that will really be the connection. It's not about, it's like, it's, it's not even about compromise at that point. The whole, oh, it's healthier for you. Oh, this is how you, you know, connect with other people. That, sh that shit don't, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Who cares, actually? What really matters is the product at the end of the day. That's what Abiko cares about. She cares about her baby, her product. And if you really want it to be at its peak, then listening to the expertise of others is how you're going to get there and relying on other people to deal with the nonsense that you don't have the time for, which is basically to trust in your own expertise and apply it is, is how you're going to do it. Delegation makes you better. It makes the product better. Listening to expertise, it makes it better. That's how we that's how we get into her head, bro. That's how we do it. She doesn't care about our own health. And I respect that. But we both care about your product. So let's talk about it. And that's why Aqua's the go. Also, her watching this, I think this is probably the first time she watched this, I'm gonna guess. Um, so she was like, because she was thinking about it at the time. I assume she hadn't seen this scene before. She may maybe. I don't know actually. Maybe because I, I kind of wonder if she didn't finish it originally and then she finished it here and actually, because she look at this moment in her eyes. It's like she didn't expect it. It looks like she had a realization, right? You can see the color literally enter her eyes. It's just purple and then color enters the top. It gets this green hue. It gets these extra highlights, right? So I think she came to understand in that moment, like, oh, like there was a beautiful moment. Like I thought I hated this thing completely and she wasn't wrong for that. But there was that beautiful moment at the end that came from trusting these other people. And that was straight up Aqua coming in clutch and, you know, Kana coming in clutch. Um, and so, especially with those cast members being in her own play, she can probably be like, oh, like they can actually do this justice uh, and really like make moves here. You know what I mean? So I think it's her starting to gain a little bit more trust in the process of collaboration because she got to see at least one part of Sweet Today that was like locked in. And then this was perfect. Shout out Aqua for that. Aqua's a freaking genius, bro. Ruby, dog, I really need you to get some content up in your booty. <laughs> Ruby, 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 I really need some stuff here, man. This is a good shot, too. The puzzle pieces and stuff. 
Yeah, true that, true that. Goa, that was the script writer's name I was, I was thinking about earlier. Couldn't find it. Goa, G-O-A. Well, that's just his like title or whatever. I don't know if that's his actual name. I probably have it in my notes, but anyways. Um, <laughs> Ruby, hey, here's hoping for three minutes of screen time instead of two next episode, all right? Shout out, shout out. Dang, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, I kind of like, she kind of owning this picture, is she not? She kind of the main character in this picture here. Anyways, y'all, that's all I really got for this one. Other than that, should be exciting episode four. I'm very excited. Um, hopefully, I think, I think Abiko's gonna come around, and I'm, I'm excited to see that. Um, I'm, I'm glad that, like, Aqua's starting to get more engaged in the product, makes me more engaged in the product, project, in the play, so. Um, and they, and they did a lot of good work here to, to make Abiko more of an, like, a, a layered character that I'm ready to get into, you know what I mean? So, pretty lit. Abiko, shout out you. Um, hopefully you come in clutch next episode. Episode 4 should be exciting. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you're a new, blah, blah, blah. Comment down below if you have anything to say or join the Discord. And talk to me other Ashino co-fans there. But until then, until next episode, that's it. I will be seeing you then. Peace.